Hey guys, I'm just going to read you a job description from the command zone. The pay and benefits are $18 per hour, paid sick leave, paid vacation time, paid holidays, and 401k. The job is for a production assistant function. Now, what's important to remember is this job is in Los Angeles, one of the most expensive places to live. So good luck living on $18 an hour there because according to MIT, you need at least $26 an hour to have a roof over your head and that's you know the cheapest, that's the bare bones. So what are your responsibilities? Aid with general office upkeep, maintenance and organization, work with producers, directors, editors, other staff, yada, 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 yada. You are an avid Magic the Gathering player. You love the game, so you're willing to take a massive paycheck and uh, work for us. This is Magic the Gathering in a nutshell. It's the same thing they did with all those cosplayers and Christine Spranko. It's so funny that like Christine Spranko got mad at the quarterling or Jeremy Hambly, but in reality, she should have been mad at Wizard of Coast for using her IP and her likeness on all the image and marketing. I mean, they honestly used probably $100,000 worth of marketing from her and didn't even pay her a dime. They didn't even pay her for to go to Las Vegas, uh, even though she was the face with her Averson Angel of that, the largest, at the time, the largest GP or largest uh, card event in history. So Wizard of the Coast has a issue of paying people. Often they use very, very cheap labor who is uh, avid fans of the game or avid fans of their YouTube channel. Uh, there's a lot. I mean, there is a lot to say. So when they posted this job, Twitter ate them alive, right? Twitter Command Cast is a very liberal YouTube channel. Uh, I'm just going to read you some posts. $18 for an entry-level position that you don't intend to train for is insulting, especially in Los Angeles. Who do you expect can war afford to work for you? Wanting these skills from entry-level candidates sounds like you want to exploit talent you don't raise up or invest in. So as somebody who hires entry level myself, they have, uh, you know, aid, work. They, they have like a huge, like, what, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. They have 12 different functions for this position, okay? And, uh, you know, tools to the trade, Adobe Premiere, Pro Shop, Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, Unreal Engine, they need to learn or how have to do, monitor traditional media, online video platform. I mean, this is not an entry. First of all, this is a not an entry level job. The reason that they put entry level is so they could reduce the salary to 18. Now, in Los Angeles, I believe the minimal wage for fast food workers is $20 per hour. So you will be taking a $2 pay cut to work here at your beloved command zone. So I, I totally get why they are taking um, a beating on this. Uh, I, count, I mean, Los Angeles, one of the most expensive, actually, second most expensive city in the U.S. to live in. Um, you know, it's very expensive in Los Angeles. I, I think probably New York City is number one. I like Command Zone. I like Rachel Weeks. This is coming from a place of love. Command Zone really seems bloated for a YouTube channel. And the current overproduction of their content turns me off. How many employees do they have? Like 20? And they just moved into a new production facility. Stop spending. Work with what you have. I don't need to see a CGI dragon fly out of everyone's decks. I don't need licensed elevator music during every main phase. Pay your employees a livable wage. I also already don't like Joss's pretentious attitude. I don't want to know. I don't want to know he's advocating for underpaid staff as well. No wonder his previous assistant is no longer with the show. He made appearances during his tenure. I wonder how he got compensated. Stop exploiting people's passions while you continue to aggressively expand. Yeah, they're no different than Wizards of the Coast, man. They use, like, all this free labor. Like, they use, like, I mean, Christine Sprankles is a really good example. You know, if I were to hire Christine Sprankles to work for me, probably what she did for GP Vegas back then and the cosplays she had and, 
know, she had to do a GoFundMe because she couldn't even afford a ticket. Like, I, it's kind of gross, you know. To be quite frank, it's kind of gross. And, and the funny thing is these super liberal companies, they always pay like shit, man. Like, straight up, you know, straight up talking to you, right? As a business owner myself, I just post, so I'm in Houston. Our living wage, I mean humble, our living wage has to be like astronomically lower. I don't know what Humble's living wage is, but I would assume that, you know, uh, we have um, entry level positions at twenty two fifty an hour. That's when I train you, right? That's that's me training you to do everything. That's that's me not having. Let's read some aid with general office upkeep. Work with producers, perform quality control on various video and audio, support the maintenance of an accurate company calendar, schedules, administration forms, facilitate correspondence between projects. Dude, dude, my dude doesn't need to do any of this 12 things. These are very 12 very detailed things. Set up and break down equipment and sets for production, other events, so that's physical labor, monitor traditional media. Like my dude just does social media posts on Facebook for our clients. So you begin pay twenty two fifty entry level. And when she first came to me, she didn't know how, what the hell she was doing. Um, I had one of the worst employees, and I was paying her $25 an hour. And, you know, we actually, I mean, unfortunately, I didn't you know I was being stupid at the time. We had um, paid a bonus of $5,000. We let her go after 90 days. She asked if she could keep the bonus. We said, yeah, keep it. It was a bonus. A bonus is a bonus. This is, like, really interesting. The more liberal the company and our YouTube channel the, and the more they actually want to expand. So they're they're building new productions. Too. They're spending millions of dollars, but can't pay their staff nothing. They, they, they pay their staff less than the dude working at McDee's. How, t- you tell me how that makes sense, man. So they're, they're, But they would be first in line. They would be first in line to support Card Kingdom and their union and so on, right? When everyone got fired and then laid off, right? <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, we got laid off. No, you guys got let go, man, because... They can't afford you no more because you're part of a union. That's that's what happens. So a lot of the uh, policies and a lot of the kumbaya, it, it's, you know, rules for me, but uh, rules for D, but not for me, right? Um, th- this uh, is still posted on there. This is like super viral right now. It's still posted on their thingamajig, on their website. So they didn't take it down. They're still, whatever. These guys are really, really confident that they can get someone for $18 an hour when you can work uh, and that's not to talk about the payday loan company and all that stuff that they have and better health, right? Everyone producing better health, right? Non-licensed psychologists help. Great. Uh, game nights. Yeah. That's uh, it's pretty bad, man. They make a lot of money. I don't know where people are saying they get 20 employees. Can someone fact check? Why do people think they have 20 um, employees, right? Um, I don't know. All the underpaid staff in the world, and they still want to produce more than one video per week. Yeah, why do they need all these people? This like sounds a. Why do they need all these production assistants? That's crazy. The job is still on their website, though, with the same salary. Okay, let me click on the website. Can't afford magic cards with that paycheck. Yep. Not many paychecks now can. Yikes.